Good morning everybody. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful day so far. Today we're going to be talking about connecting these waterproof connectors to these LED strips that you'll get from Amazon or eBay. So the LED strips that we purchased are, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's a WS2811, and that's talking about the chipset, and it's a 5050 SMD uh, RGB LED, and there are 100 pixels per strand, because this is the 300 LED uh, version, uh, so there are three pixels or three LEDs to every pixel or WS2811 controller. So let's get this unwrapped and show you what it looks like. All right, once you get it out of the packaging here, you can see that it has these leads pre-attached and then it also gives you a lead that you could connect to here. And then if you wanted to, you could connect to here so one of the things that i have to test is just a cheap little uh, led controller we'll connect it to our 12 volt power supply over here and then we'll connect it up to our strip here and you can see that our strip is doing like a little test pattern thing so what we need to do though is make it so it fits on here so one of the things that i've done is the type of connector that's on the controllers that fit together I've made up a little test rig so it'll snap into the receiving end of that and we will be able to test it working after we attach our new connector so let's go over the different types of connection methods that we can do and we'll get this unraveled and we'll only have the piece that we're going to work on up here all right so we have it unraveled here and you can actually see or you probably can't see because the light's on so let me disconnect the power you can actually see that it has these directional arrows here showing which way the signal is going to be going and then you can see that it has these little copper slices and that's actually where you can cut these to make them custom lengths to whatever you want and then you can bend them around corners so what they have is they have their connector on here they already have a piece of heat shrinking and then they also have spot where you can power inject more power so if you're running two of these strips in a row you need to do a power injection point because then you'll start to get weak leds down the line so the different methods of connecting, one would be to use um, some type of solder uh, iron and that way you can um, solder onto these tabs right here. Another method of connecting is just cutting these wires right here, doing a little bit of a strip to strip them off. And then using these heat shrink dealios where then you use your heat gun and this tiny bit of solder in the middle there will actually solder your pieces together and then that's heat shrink already and then you use like a big piece of heat shrink to go over the top of everything so you know the deal with some some heat shrink so it looks something like this right here so the heat shrink over the big tube and then each one of these would just go on to here like so. Oh, if I can get it on there. There we go. And down there like so. And this is how I actually had the strip connected the first time. And I still had it short out. Even though I'm not sure exactly why we're going to figure out once we get it up there if it's something actually in the wires. But... That's neither here nor there. We'll figure that out later. Um, so yeah, that's that type of connector. You would just heat gun that. 
and then you put this heat shrink over all of them and then heat shrink that too so that way it becomes one unit so we'll take all that out of there and then so if you were to solder you would just take these pins and you know sort them out to ground and all that and just solder them on there and then hot glue which is a decent method too but little thing that i found on uh amazon and ebay you know because they're basically the same they all have the same they have it here where you can so we actually have to organize them just right so we have our 12 volt so our hot and then our yellows our signal so we would organize it like that right there we just put them in the here and i'll actually take a little bit more off of here so that way we can get it oh uh, actually actually it looks like it might be all right so yeah so we'll go ahead and start doing this because i'm going to use this method to connect it and then we will uh, test it so let's go ahead and start connecting it all right so we need it so our ground is over here our signal is over here and then we want to make it so each one of these wires go in there just so so they have a little spot where each one of them can go onto. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take a little bit more off of here. So let's do this ever so gently, because this stuff is super, super thin gauge. I can actually probably do this number right here. Just take a little bit off. Take a little bit more, a little bit. There we go. See that? now now we got some wire to work with oh and before we forget we have to stick this on because that goes inside the uh, actual display part so let's go ahead and put that on there and we have our little nut that ties onto there too and that's what kind of seals it up all right so what did we say we said like that right there nope opposite way that right there because our red is our hot that's how i wired it up at the controller so you can see in there the wires kind of go into each one of their spots you just gotta get it so they go in and boom just like that and we'll take a needle nose here to kind of give it a little bit there you go, you hear that click. That click is us going home. So just like that. Now this connector is on there. And what I could do if I really wanted to was, you know, get a big piece of heat shrink and put it over the whole top of the thing. I think I got some big enough heat shrink that would do that. Like something like this mamma jamma but then it's just too too silly too silly oh even this might actually fit over the top of that Ooh. no no i'm not gonna do that because the ones that i left up there that were like that did just fine so i feel like maybe i should heat shrink it We'll see, we'll see. So now we'll get this off of here. So ever so gently again. Just take that heat shrink off of there that they put on there. Because then we'll be able to see where they soldered on here. Yeah, you see? Can you see that? Is that focusing really? Let's see if I turn this light off. Does that help it focus on this instead? No, not really. Hmm. 
well, anywho. Let's see if that'll focus on there. It will not. It will not. But you can kind of see what we got, what we're working with there. So what we'll do is we'll just cut off all those solders right there with our little trusty thingamabob here, a little cutter. Just do, give them a little, let's just get them all off of there. And then we'll give it a little trim see here. Oh, I'm not showing you guys, sorry. come off as easy as the other ones that I did. I bet you I can trim that like that. Because we don't want this to short out. That's the biggest thing. We don't want it to short out. And really, if I wanted to, I could peel this layer back. that layer back because that's its waterproof layer see now we're just to the bare strip now we can just take those off of there like that hmm there we go and then the same thing goes for the bottom here so there you can see our, our tabs that we're going to be going into can you see that kind of maybe maybe not not right there that's that's what we're going into with, I don't know if you can see that down in there, but you see those spikes? That's what goes up through the bottom of that strip. So, what we need to do is insert, strip in like so. Now that it's in there, close that clasp. And the same thing, that clasp just went through. Make sure we're good. We'll just give it a little squeezy. Make sure it's in there good. And yeah, that that is it for that. So now this is all connected. We should be able to get our power supply on here and test it. So let's do that real quick. All right, like I said before, I made this little connector so it can go into our controller. And that way we can test our waterproof, take this garbage out of there, our waterproof connector here. So they have arrows that go together, but really if you find the groove that's on the inside there, that goes in like that. This comes in and screws down. We don't have to screw it down all the way. We just have to power it on and see if we got LEDs. Hey, hey. Let's wrap this around here so you can see this. So there we go. We have a LED strip that's working again. So now what we'll do is go back up to the house and get this attached or back just feed it through the, uh, the PEX pipe from the old one. I'll use the old LED strip and just tape the end of this one onto it and pull it through, put it up, and we'll have a sequence tonight. Or at least all the lights will be going. I already fixed the, uh, the one. Um, I had one other spot that was kind of funky too, so we fixed that as well. So, yeah. 
let's put it up on the house and next video i post will be of a new sequence for you guys